Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Bedpost Podcast. I'm your host, as always, Erin Pym. Here at the podcast, I like to invite guests and performers from my Bedpost stage show that I do here in Toronto and beyond into the studio here with Eggplant Media to have a more in-depth conversation about sex and sexuality. This week, I'm very excited for this guest. She's done my stage show and been absolutely hilarious. She's done the podcast one time before, and I'm super excited to have her back at the Bedpost podcast. Please welcome to the mic, pro dominatrix Lady Henry. Hello. Hi, darling. Oh, thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited. I'm very excited to have you back. <laughs> you're adorable, and I love you. No, I'm super mean. I mean, I mean you're so fierce. Yeah. intimidating I know, I'm and scary super, I'm so intimidating <laughs> I just like oh people like see me and like cross oh, they're the just, street yeah, they're, they're just, just like get out of your yeah, way they're like I don't want to mess with all five two of her <laughs> <laughs> all five two yeah. of her yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um why don't you for for the folks at home and and on the TTC and and in their cars and wherever in the bathtub you know, okay. wherever yeah. they happen yeah. to be listening or watching us on YouTube, too. Um, hi. Hi, everybody. Um, why don't you tell everyone what it is exactly you do, who you are and what you do, darling? Sure. Well, on my like, on my like, what does your resume say? My resume? <laughs> what does oh, your I LinkedIn actually, profile and, say? And, well, it's funny because to get the job that I have, I was like, I sent in a resume because really? the reference. Well, because I was like, this is a job interview. I guess it's for, I just, I don't know how to do this, but this is, and I have references. She's like, no one's ever given Brought me a, a resume. resume. <laughs> I was just like, well, I am, I'm a very astute employee. Um, well, what I say, like, I'll give the like vanilla version. Oh, great. And then, I'll be and like, then you'll get. <laughs> <laughs> this is what it is. I what I like to say um, is basically I'm an alternative therapist yes. who deals with toxic masculinity and uh, gender roles, uh, toxic masculinity through like gender roles, uh, character exploration, and uh, power exchange. Yes. And then I'm like. Uh, slap people, <laughs> I but give, also deliver the beatings. Yes, yes, yes. But it really it's it's nice because right away um, it puts being uh, pro dominatrix in a healthy mind space. Yeah, mental it, health, a mental wellness kind yeah, of a space. Completely, completely. Yeah. So, are mm -hmm. we saying where where you work? Oh, specifically? of course, of course. Yeah, because uh, if you want to see me, it's like, fantastic. You know. uh. And it's fantastic. And I'd like to talk about <gasps> your mm -hmm. headmistress. And it's yes. just a great that's little hard. operation that's happening out there. So, yeah. Yeah. So where exactly? <laughs> where exactly are you employed? Uh, the ritual chamber. Yeah. And it's um. It says on the website, it's in the High Park area, so it's very, it's a very, very lovely, high-class um, establishment. She's been collecting things for, like, 15 years. I remember, well, actually, when I first got there, I was like, I have, I have, what do you use that for? <laughs> I can't even, I <laughs> don't know. What is that implement, that. even? And, yeah, and uh, I'm still finding a few things, and... Uh, Especially, I was like, oh, I thought, oh, I've been using this for this. She's like, that's not how you use that. I was like, oh, well, everyone had a good time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it worked out. That's how I use it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah. And your headmistress. Can we talk about Shahrzad for a little bit? Yes. Um, because she is fantastic. She's like the most huggable person. Like, I just yeah. want to cuddle her all the time. Like, yeah. a cat yeah. yeah. She's like my, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I. One thing that is very special, I think, about the ritual chamber mm -hmm. is Shahirazad. Yeah. And the way she kind of, as you were saying, it's mindful, mm -hmm. um, very mindful and thoughtful. Oh, yeah? completely. Yeah. Um, she comes from um, like a spiritual background and it is really, it, it, you're dealing with like really powerful stuff. Yeah. And because, I mean, you're somebody's hey, this is a thing I've never told anyone in my entire life and I've only just admitted to myself or whatever. Like, So they're giving you like, this is my part of my soul. Please don't crush it. Yeah. Like, Or crush it, but in this way. Yeah. In this very yeah. consensual yeah, and, very and consensual way. specific, yeah. explicit way. And yes. you can do a lot of harm, like emotional and physical, if you're not careful. So that's why it's, it's that um, therapeutic, spiritual aspect is really important. And she has a background in psychology and social work. So, I mean, that's... That comes all the through. Doms, yeah, are are there for the right reasons. Yeah. You know? Because I, 
our our other dominatrixes and doms and um, dungeons mm-hmm. like that? Do you find like is that their number one? I feel like it's very unique. I feel like I feel like it's unique to um, uh, shares out that I've noticed. Like I know there are a lot of uh, professional doms who are who are like very very into helping people like super like caring and social um in that way but i think perhaps they don't maybe advertise that aspect Mm. although they believe it but i think we're we're more obvious about the our the intent behind the play yeah that's a good point that's a good point because i think what works in marketing when you're marketing towards maybe like cishet men is sex sells right mm-hmm. and so it's like the femdom that you picture from you know uh betty page dita like yeah. like this very severe like cold yeah yeah and yeah. i mean that's totally that's that's a part of it for sure yeah. i'm sure yeah um but there's so many so many shades like yeah a ridiculous amount like i i can do mean like super mean yeah but it's to me it's like super dangerous because i don't because when you're dealing with words like it has to be very explicit like i can make people do things like with consent like yes. um you know i my shoes i i love my shoes and i don't want to get them dirty on the floor so like lick each step like before i step on it so i don't get like stuff like that i'm fine with like, yeah. degrading but like when you get into name calling or something like that i just mm. like we have to have a good discussion because i i i'm like uh, i can't call somebody like a, a loser or something unless yeah, it's explicitly they are because i'm like that's so I'm yeah not, i'm not comfortable with that at all yeah so, totally unless yeah. they're specifically asking yes. for that terminology yeah. and that Completely. language right yeah yeah because it's yeah it's murky territory it as as far as you were saying before with like harming someone yes because i'll hurt like, you but i don't i'll hurt, hurt you but you i don't want to harm you yeah yeah yeah, yeah exactly yeah. Oh, completely. and also um this might be a good segue. Uh-huh. You are a very fun, funny, bubbly person. Oh, oh thank you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I have you know, fun. and and like that maybe is not what people traditionally think of when they think of a dominatrix. No. Um, you know, and that style is that's your style is it, fun and. It is right. Yeah, yeah, talk, yeah. maybe oh, oh, talk sure. about that a bit. Um, yeah, don't let me put words. Oh in your no, mouth. I was like, <laughs> yeah. everything you said is wonderful. Keep talking. Keep talking about me and how funny <laughs> I am. Funny if you could just tell me again, can you say it? Did we get that? Yeah. Did we get that? Say it again, a little slower. Yeah, and, yeah. And in a British a little... accent, and then we can all we can have like reverb, <laughs> and it'll be like a whole bunch of people are telling me I'm funny. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I I really it, because right away it helps people. Like it, it's play. Like it's the it's whole play. Thing. It's adult play. play. And um, in the scenes, like I can be like I'm when I go into character, like love role play, like love, love, yeah. love it. Um, I can get very intense. Apparently, I I can be quite terrifying. Mm, so, oh, can you? Um, but but to have this kind of energy, like it's okay. If, it also means like it's it's okay if you make a mistake. We're a team working together, and um, you and it's okay if you say you're not comfortable with something. It's leave it, It's kind of leaving the door open, I find. Mm-hmm. Being kind of like being playful, meaning like you're not going to disappoint me. It's like there, there is this. Yeah, I might spank you for it, but. Yeah, oh yeah. But oh, I'm oh, not no, you like. You will disappoint me. You always disappoint <laughs> me. But like, you know, you're like. That, that but hurts you're a not like too much. yeah, but you're not like letting me down yeah. by communicating, you know, exactly. by you know, because I think that's that's kind of an interesting thing to bring up as well. It's like to be the perfect sub in your in. Let me know mm. what do you think the perfect sub is because it's not being completely compliant and doing no. absolutely everything you want them to do. That's no. not the perfect sub. No, right? Because you're a human being who likes stuff and doesn't like stuff. You're yeah. not a cardboard cutout. You're not a slab of. If I wanted to like just beat something up, I would like go to a, a gym and get a punching bag <laughs> yeah. or something like. It, um, someone who uh, is comfortable. Or, well, I'll work with them too, but saying what they're interested, not interested, and they're just communicating. Um, but in terms of a, like a play thing, it's um, 
I like it when they're like expressive so I can read your body language so Great. I know what's happening. Um, yes. Yeah. So I've had um, some, lo some lovely guests who are very like, and I'm just like, I don't even. I can't even get a read on you. I don't know what's going on. Like, are you? Are you like? Are you having a breakdown inside, or are you like having a great time? They're like, I had, a, I had so much fun. <laughs> uh, glad, glad you came over. Thanks. I also indeed had an had excellent time. Fun. Yes. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah. So like communicating, but yes. not only just saying what they like, but mm -hmm. in the moment, like use your body language, use yeah. your even use use your words. Yeah. Like you know. Well, because I can play off that, and, I'll, and then I know where to go if you like. Uh, if a certain thing is getting a certain response, I'll do more of that, or I'll do yeah. less, or I'll play with that. And you're like, whenever we're playing, like uh, as soon as you come in, I'm like adding little. I. I Think of it putting as out being offers. Terminators. Well, you know, um, when you watch Robocop or Terminator and they have like the <laughs> Robocop Terminator like uh, vision and visor like, do, 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 and all the information comes up. <laughs> yeah. It's like it's like that when you're like compiling information during the session and yes. you're just like, I will pick this, 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 this. Yeah. So you have to give me information when we're one way or another. Or it's gonna session. stay probably on a very surface level. Yeah. Or it's, it's not gonna go deep and yeah. it's not gonna get specific and nuanced and Completely. yeah. Completely. It's kinda just gonna be that probably your basic or it could pretty go, basic. Or I could be like uh, I guess I'll be going this way. How is this? And it's like, it could just it could just veer off track, not in an abusive way, but you're like, uh, I'm going to go with this because I'm not getting any, I'm literally yeah. not. <laughs> I'm literally not getting anything. So, well, I'm going to have fun. <laughs> so, uh, you let me, you, we will, I will check in, we will discuss, but you know, Oh, I've got 45 minutes to kill on this. <laughs> All right. Well, let's uh, let's get her done. <laughs> yeah. So. so, okay. Tell me what happens then. Mm -hmm. uh, or even before the question I was going to ask, mm -hmm. how does somebody book an appointment or what needs to happen? Do they need to be vetted? Do they, how do they, you know, they get on the website? What happens right from the very beginning into them getting in the room. Awesome. Um, well, they can go to my website, yes. uh, <laughs> www.ladyhenry.ca. That's L. You got a pen? Okay, right. L A D Y H E N R Y dot C I. C I. C I. Um, yeah, what and on my website as well, there's a whole bunch of um Is there like a form? Yes, there is a form. And the great thing about our form is that it saves you a lot of time. So instead of having like twenty different emails back and forth or like, oh, it asks you what your health conditions are, ah. what you're interested in, what your hard limits are. So everything's in one place and so we can make sure that you know, we have a really good idea of what you're looking for and what you're not looking for. Yeah. So when you say like what like limitations, like physical limitations, you're talking about mm -hmm. like I've had surgery on my left shoulder yep. and I can't lift my arm higher than my mm -hmm. shoulder. Or exactly. Stuff like that. Right. Yeah. And also um, or I get my yeah. I have back problems and I can't be in this position for too long. Stuff exactly. like that. Yeah. 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 